the ground to Oxford for tonight's Milk Cup third round match. Now it's a ground where many a first division side has come to grief in recent uh, months. Well tonight's visitors were Arsenal, currently leading the league, while Oxford of course are top of the second division. So a match full of expectations. Our commentator at Oxford is Alan Parry. The Manor ground is crackling with atmosphere once again for this latest chapter in Oxford's incredible rise to fame. Oxford are currently leading the second division, the highest position in the club's history. And the visit of the first division leaders, Arsenal, will hold no fears. In last season's Milk Cup, the likes of Manchester United and Everton came here and failed to win. As usual, it's an adventurous Oxford lineup, with Kevin Brock being recalled to form a four-man attack, spearheaded by the Northern Ireland international Billy Hamilton, who already has two hat-tricks to his credit in this season's competition. Well, Arsenal's injury problems have eased. They're able to bring back Tommy Caton in defence and Tony Woodcock in attack, both having missed Saturday's defeat at West Ham. And curiously, the Milk Cup is the only domestic trophy which Arsenal have never won. Tonight's referee is Roger Milford from Bristol. Well, Oxford's tiny ground has hardly changed since they became a league club just 22 years ago, but their stature has changed dramatically. And Arsenal certainly will regard this match as just as difficult as their visit to Manchester United on Friday, which you can see live on BBC One. Arsenal in the white shorts, attacking from right to left. Ricks. Cotton's clearance, back to Ricks. Sansom curls it in, Woodcock, a nice touch, Nicholas. Shot straight against the defender, and turned away by Briggs. And Arsenal, enjoying good possession here. Sansom to Nicholas. Who spreads praise superbly to Anderson on the right. Anderson lucky to get a second chance, here's Robson. Langham for Oxford. Hamilton. Came off Robson, Oxford's throw. Hamilton. Langan takes over. Look for Hebbard. No Leary had read it. Langan, turn straight into Sansom. And Arsenal come out of a tight corner. Ricks, Tolbert on the right. Now Allinson. Nicholas, and still Nicholas, and still. And in the end, it was the interception by McDonald which prevented that fine, strong run by Charlie Nicholas, who took on and beat two defenders. The corner quickly taken. Ricks. Oh, the keeper's made a mistake, and it's in. And Ricks gets a goal in the 17th minute that even he will admit was something of a fluke. And you have to feel sorry, though the Arsenal supporters behind the goal won't, for the goalkeeper, Steve Hardwick. The ball seemed to virtually go through his legs as that shot from Ricks was driven in admittedly hard and low but Steve Hardwick will know that goes down to him his mistake now he has a smoke bomb to deal with as well so the first division leaders whose fine run unbeaten league games came to an end at West Ham on Saturday get the early goal which will settle them down I'm sure the long throw aimed at Hamilton Hebert to London Support yet though Nicholas is arriving. McDonald's challenge to go for. Hamilton 
good flick down by Haddock. Towards Haddock, rather. By Old Ridge. But good defending by Sansom. Donald won it. Robson. Good one, two with Woodcock and Nicholas. Hope it on. Here's Robson. And Robson again. And off the line by McDonald. And Robson wins it again for a third time. It's still not clear yet. Samson, Langham. And how will this end? With a goal kick. But Stuart Robson's competitive urge and determination to win the ball so nearly brought him a goal. He must have been bowled two or three times. The shot knocked off the line by McDonald and still Robson battled to win it back. And McDonald was there again. Ten minutes remaining to half time. Could to get a goal back would place a very different emphasis in the second half. Leary forced to concede the throw. Oxford feeling that they're clawing their way back into this game after the early setback. <laughs> Lawrence dived in on Rich trying to win back the throw that he and Langdon had made a hash of between them. to Robson, through it intercepted, but Robson slips, Hamilton, Lawrence takes over, a good looking ball, Heather's in there, no, it's Aldridge, and it's gone in, what a good header, and what a brave header it was, by John Aldridge, and the Oxford fans celebrate, as Aldridge lies injured, in the 37th minute, Pat Jennings beaten, by a header that was as brave as it was accurate. As Lawrence played it in, Hebbard was running on the far side, but Aldridge was the furthest player forward, and that header just sneaked over Jennings and into the corner of the net. 1-1. One, one. Only a few minutes remaining before half-time, as Aldridge is helped onto a stretcher. It must be a difficult decision for manager Jim Smith. Just leaning forward there. Well, obviously, he's made the decision because he is talking to Peter Rhodes-Brown about what he wants him to do. So it would seem that Aldridge, having scored the equalising goal, is to play no further part in this game. As Arsenal kick off with the score 1-1. Could get the goal that their play in the last few minutes is threatened. As Sansom finds Nichols. McDonald there before Allenson. And Briggs just cleans things up. There's a fresh belief about Oxford United now. Brock. Heaven. Truitt. Brock's there again. But it was Ricks of all people back to intercept. McDonald with the interception. Lawrence. Langer. Back it goes, but Sansom with the interception. Nicholas. Rose Brown, the Oxford sub, still hasn't come on. 